test. Part of me wants to crack your skull, I need to take a break. The heart of me wants to stop us all, I need to take my pace. Whether or not it's right or wrong, results are the same. The quicker the liquor affected me, the happier I became. I need a cigarette, I need that nicotine. I need that liquor, no quicker before you're sick of me. I need a cigarette, I need that nicotine. I need that liquor, no quicker before you're sick of me. Thirsty Thursdays once again. Week number 18 now. And nine, 19, 18? It's climbing. It's, climbing. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere around there. It's not 27 yet. Week 27 might be something. I don't know. Could it be? Uh, I, I really appreciate you guys watching this every time. Thank you so much. Uh, it's just a little something fun that we like to do and support artists of all kinds. Artists of all forms. Is forms the yeah. hashtag part. We could put forms. hashtag artists of all forms yeah. right there. What's another hashtag that we do at this time? Uh, I think it begins with the letter T. Ooh. What's the second word? Uh, Thursday? Yeah, what's no. the third word? Taste test or something? No. Yeah, I something like that. I don't know. Thursday taste test. Yeah. Hashtag triple T. Here we right go. There, Thursday, Thursday's uh, taste test. This one comes from Saskatoon. Ooh, very classic. The original 16, but this one is the Canadian Copper. It's a very good drink actually when my good friend uh, Matt Schreier had a wood fire grill on 2nd Avenue in Saskatoon. Yep. Uh, just not, we're both pretty much across the street from the Odeon. I don't know what they Moore's. call it now. You know that Morris store? That Moore's yeah, yeah. Right across there. Right, just, right by the Midtown. Mall. Every day on my way home from work I'd swing in and say hi. I did a lot of rentals and helped build a lot of stuff in there and I would just grab one of these on the yeah. tap to go. On the tap. Just but quick, here's quick. the thing, cans of something but on tap, you gotta try this on tap. Oh. So if you're in the Saskatoon area. Yeah, it's very... I very remember good. in the red zone too, at that area too, on um, Ottawa and just off of Ottawa, sorry. Yeah. And uh, Circle, Circle Drive. Drive. Yeah. The red the zone. Travel they have it on tap there more. too. Yep. So, yep. uh... Here's to the Saskatoon Brewery, Great Western Brewing. Um, and their brewery is right on the old Second Warmer Avenue Road, too. Yeah, yeah Warmer Road, Second Avenue. First Avenue, I think. Uh, yeah, here's to the so 16 Copper. Big shout out to them. So we've had this before. It's not like it's oh. a brand new taste test, but man, that's smooth. Ooh. Yeah. Not enough ooze in that to say smooth. Ooh. With the ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's very good. Ah. Oh yeah, let's get on with the show. I feel like we're getting. Yeah, let's uh, on on with it. On with the show. So here's the thing: we dated back to, I think it was week blank. You can check it there. But we had a top six list, and the last list that we did was Mad TV characters. But we never really touched base on that prior to it. So I feel like we should do a top six list. Yeah, you know, I was thinking, uh, I don't want to get too much into what's going on in the media and all that nonsense, but uh, there is one guy that all of us in this world happen to respect quite a bit, come out and said some things you may or may, may not disagree with. Uh, basically, it's a very good way to promote. He's got an album coming out, and that's basically what it is. Uh, I'm not going to get into whatever he said. It was all up for opinion on you guys, but my top six, Robert's top six, Let's uh, see what's the top six R2K's picks. Top on, six, uh, right there. Boom, we have that little thing. Eminem's albums, Mr. Yep. Marshall Mathers. So we you, you want to count one down from six or six up to one? We're gonna start with number six. Number six. Because the reason we start with number six is all these top five lists that have been around for so long, they're missing out that one final spot, yeah. and I feel like. We, we're going to cover that final spot. I like even numbers, right? Two? Yeah. Six. So uh, let's start with number six. Number six. Boom. Number six is the 2004 album Encore with Eminem. Yes, and sir. so this one here is kind of his middle ground. Like this is where he wasn't as popular and he, it's not really his downfall, but... I don't know. It wasn't terrible. It was one of his better ones. Obviously, it's number six. Uh, and so there's, there's quite a few good ones on that. That just lose it was kind of like a commercial pop hit yeah. thing, and that's 
you know, he was really quirky with that album. Like, there's that big weenie song. What was that about? Mm, yeah. yeah. That's the reason it's number six, is because it's, yeah. yeah. Good. So, it was either really good songs or really bad songs. There's no, like, middle ground on that. So, what's number five? Number five. Boom. Number five is the Recovery album in 2010. So, a little bit newer. This is when he just came back. You know, he had that relapse album, which was... I don't know. He had a lot of like that. They yeah, played for big. Yeah, you that, that accent in the ground. Yes. Yeah. And so recovery was when he dyed his hair black, and he had that not afraid, and he was like yeah. right on his game with Rihanna, and that love the way you lie. That yeah, that was like a big for hit. him like billion views. Yeah, on, was he was the first hit. video on YouTube or something that hit billion. Mm. I could be wrong, but so for like, his channel maybe. Moving on, number four, boom. Number four is, oh, number four is the Marshall Mathers LP 2. So this is a most that was a That was a good breath yeah, of that, fresh air. That's it's something. been a while since I. Like we yeah. said, number five with that uh, recovery, but this yeah. is. No, it was down. good to see him pull his strings back together. That was an excellent album. A lot of great tracks on that. It was a very good album, I must say. And that had uh, Rap God on it. Yeah. Broke Guinness World Records for that one. Yeah. And so, also with that, he had uh, the monster with Rihanna again. Like he teamed yeah. up with that. And Sia was all over that album. Also. Yeah, that too. Yeah, really big singles and all that. Uh, well, I wonder what that new album like. Is he going to have any new artists or anything? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, what's next? What so we're, we're going to doing? number four. Number, uh, do we just do number four? Number uh, three. <laughs> number three. Boom. Number three is... The Slim Shady LP. Wasn't that just a great time for TRL? You oh, know, that's the time. That's the Carson Daly. Yeah, that, that was, was like, that was an era you had to be there. <laughs> if you're of my generation or understand, yeah, that was a time before the internet was really booming. And like music videos was the thing when you watched after a night of party. The next day you're all hanging around watching music videos, and Eminem was all over that stuff. And that album just. Put him on the map. That's the first one he did really work with, with Dr. Dre. Dre. Yeah, and My Name Is. Yeah. And you watch that HBO, The Defiant Ones. They said that My Name Is, once Dre hit that drum beat on that, Eminem just wrote the song too. Yeah, it was just it came magic. That natural. Yeah. And of course, number two. Number two. Boom. <laughs> number two, The yeah, Eminem Show 2002, which I, was. I can't remember. A better time when Cavaliers with spoilers were just blasting without me, rattling the crap out of it, and say what you say, and uh, all, sing for the moment. Yeah, they just and you talked about the Superman mosh thing. and just hit after hit after yeah. hit after hit on Eminem. Show he really peaked in that album. That was till I collapse was also on that too with Nate Dogg. That was a huge hype track. Rest in peace, Nate Dogg. Yeah, Ex and excellent. excellent. Okay, but, and yeah. and number finally. one, the big one. Surprise, surprise, boom. Number one, Marshall Mathers LP. 2000. Yeah, and this that was, was like the peak of Eminem. This was like. Yeah, that's when he did his stand with Elton John. That's yeah. That's when, uh, you know, I am what you say I am. Yeah, with the all of mine shooting just happening, and he yeah. put politics towards that as well. And Yeah, he is the king of controversy. Yeah, and the real Some Shady, of course, like that's the yeah, huge that was commercial gosh. track. For that one, and so you know, here's here's the Eminem and his many great albums. Cheers to that, and many more to come, I would hope. But I don't want to beat a dead horse anymore. We all know how great Eminem is. You know who's somebody who's super underrated? Who's that? I mean, Necro. Necro. Oh, Necro yeah. is coming in a couple days to Saskatoon. Yes. I hope to see everybody out there. All the fam will be there. Uh, Mad Child's opening for him, so you got to see that and. Our good friend and much respect to him, Sequel will be there also. He'll be there too. So let's put a poster one more time. This is our last chance. We'll yeah. put it here for a good, like, let's say 10 seconds. So yeah. just leave it there. It's just going to sit there. But yeah. So as we promote this, it's on the 33rd Street in Ottawa, the Saskatoon yeah. Bend Center. Yeah. Used to be the old Rallies building. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to be a big packed show. I don't know if there's tickets available yet, but you got to check it out. Just go if there is, dig, dig into it. It's underground. Yeah, yeah that's what a lot it of back score guys will be there, and we're gonna support that. And, yeah, and uh, it, it'll be a really good show. You know, with that all being said, we will have a guest next week. Uh, we'll try our best. Look forward to a little something special we're gonna do at Halloween. 
And uh, we, should, we should tell them that now because it's going to be not Thirsty Thursday, it's going to be a Thirsty Tuesday because Halloween lands on a Tuesday. So expect a video on Tuesday, not our usual Thursday. You betcha. So that's big on us. And also, like we said before, send us content. I mean, we got a few clicks and calls and stuff that we're going to try to promote next week. But on top of that, send us more and we'll definitely promote you guys. Just like we promoted the Necro thing. Yeah, reach out, connect to us. Uh, you know, just in the spirit of when El Eminem's albums were doing so good and music videos and much music and and TRL and MTV actually played music, you know, I'm just gonna give one little shout out to those that might not get this or maybe you get it. Hopefully Robert gets it, he's gonna finish this, but keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do